Hello, hello. All right. So we're going to fight the Death's Head Biker Gang now. For archival purposes. It is 1080p. 6,000 bit rate, 60 frames. And it is currently 4.04 p.m. on Wednesday, the 18th of October, 2023. And if you missed the tutorial, I don't know if I've made it so that it's it only shows up in the playlist as like a hidden thing or not. If you don't know what I'm on about when we're playing this, there should be a, a precursor episode in episode zero or whatever where I smashed out the tutorial and just gave everyone a bit of a heads up on what this game is and how I've fallen in love with it in the past couple of days. Um, but we're just going to jump straight in. After the biker gang wars of the 90s, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic gangs. But they're back, with the network of so-called clubhouses across Scandinavia. We're seeing a massive increase in smuggling operations on northern European borders. Borders. Not borders. What's a border? Borders. Put a stop to it. Alright, so we're going to get straight into it. Um, but you can see you get, like, choices as you move through the map. Have different battles, different places, different enemies, all sorts of different stuff. Um, but we should, we should go pretty cruisily. We should go pretty cruisily. I'm just using the basic deck at the moment, just the balanced one that you start with. And uh, hopefully it'll get us a little way. We'll see how we go. Now you can see the red there for the door. If I kick someone out the door, they are instantly out. Uh, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Um... How much damage are they doing? Six. Okay. Uh, put that on. Let's do... I've only got two to spend. No, 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 I don't. I'm good. So I'm going to do a kick on you. Because he's banged against the wall, so it does six damage plus the extra four from hitting him against the wall. And then I can finish him off with a head smash. And he's done, he's toast. Um, we're out of momentum, so I can't spend any of these, but I can use emergency move. And I can step back over here to the wall. Alright, so. Um. So that gives us extra damage per combo. So it's better for us to use other turns, like other cards first. Um, we're just gonna smack this dude to get around a little bit. Use Hammer Fist. And then because now we've got three combo, I can use the combo finisher on him and smash him. And I'll just wait here for the other dude. No, he still doesn't want to... Doesn't want to make his way over here. Alright, I'll wait another turn. Okay. So we can't shift. We can use that to move. We can slip. Um, what I'm going to do though... I'm going to use Quick Strike on him. And I'm going to use Head Smash. And that's all she wrote. It does start you off relatively easy, but it does get very complex later on. If you beat the basic objective, which is just to defeat, defeat the enemies, you get a new card to select at the end of each round, or most rounds. Um, and if you get do the bonus objectives, which is usually like defeat the fight quickly, or pick up the briefcase, or don't take X amount of damage, or things like that, then you get bonuses, which very, very much help. If you've ever played any game similar to this before, you have an idea of the basic sort of setup, you know? Um, what we are going to do is we're going to grab Jab. Jab is very handy because it's free and it gives us extra momentum. Now, the loading alley has weakened targets, but we can only get medical afterwards. Oh, sorry, the tattoo has weakened targets, but we're going to get medical afterwards, whereas the loading alley doesn't. But we can go to the gym. We might go to the alley. Sometimes you get ninjas in the alley and it makes things a little bit more difficult. You can tell kind of what faction people are associated with by um, their sort of base color. Okay, so these guys, the bouncers, 
the bouncers or security guards, whatever they're called. What are they? Security. So they just push you around and deal four damage. But you can see the, the exclamation mark space. If I do anything in that space or move into that space that has an exclamation mark in my turn, like if I attack him, he will push me, even though it's in my turn. Um, basically, uh, shit can go sideways pretty quick if you don't keep an eye on them. This dude's going to kick me and push me as well. He's two spaces away, but he does like a jump kicky thing and will push me. You can see sort of what's on the ground, kind of, with what's going on. It's sort of like you can see the arrows of where I'm going to get pushed or what's going to happen. Um, because you can see who's going to take their turns first as well. So the kicking dude, this is the darker red, he's going to go first. He's got the one next to him. He is going to kick me into the fence. I'll take six damage from him, then four extra damage from hitting the fence. And then the dude that's next to me will push me for another four damage. And I don't want that. That's bad. It's a bad situation to be in. So instead, I'm going to kick him away from me. Is that what we've got? Yeah, I'm going to kick him away from me. I don't want him near me. How much does old mate's kick do that pushes? Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do... I am going to... Step up on this guy. I'm going to jab him. I'm going to... Quick strike him. And then I'm going to counter. And then that'll be the end of my turn. I'll hold on to the emergency move card. The emergency move, I'm pretty sure, stays with you. You get like one card. So see how it's got retain card in hand at end of turn. So I can keep that. All the other ones go. Um, but I only get to use it once. Now he hit me, but I was blocking him. So while I did get pushed backwards, I didn't take any damage from it. Unfortunately, we don't have the same layout of cards this time around. But, I can still push this dude away. Get him out of my face. He's not going to bother me. And then, what was it? Six. He does six damage, yeah. So, then what we'll do, instead of we could dash over to him. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to long strike him. So, see, so you can see underneath where the card is, it's got the cost at the top. And then underneath it, it says the distance that the enemy has to be to attack him. So they can either be up close, one tile away, or they can be two tiles away. Um, but I'm going to do... I'm going to do long strike on him. And hit him. And then I'm going to do a combo finisher on him. That should smash him. Now, the briefcase that's over there, we need to try and get as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, and I'm going to use emergency move to go where that enemy is going to spawn in. I'm just going to stand here. And then I'm going to block. Not that I need to, but it's free. Then I'm going to end my turn. There's block and there's quick block. Quick block only blocks for like half as much or whatever. Um, so now, because I want to get that briefcase, right? I'm going to just step over here into the corner. Even though it's not the greatest position for me to be in. And I'm just going to hold out here. And then they're probably going to come in and corner me here. But they'll still be a little bit away. See, now I can't move out. I can't go anywhere. If I cross his thing, he's going to fuck me up. I am in a bit of a bad position. And I can't attack him either. Because the car is blocking me on this side. So... Now old mate's ready to kick me. And the dude in front of me is ready to fuck me up. So... I can't shift either. I'm in a very bad spot. Um, how much damage did you do? Four, but he's going to push me into the wall and do eight. Um... Alright, well. 
best that I can do, really. Is to just lay into him. Yeah, that hurt me pretty bad. This is a bad position to leave myself in. I should have stepped out of here in the last turn, but... Uh, do this. Because the problem is, I'm going to have a repeat of this, because I can't use either of my move cards. And he's going to push me again. Okay, now I can actually start moving some people around. So, I'm going to do... If I had slipped in the last turn, I could have gotten out, but anyway. I'm going to do a kick, push him away. Uh, and then I'll just sit on a counter and a block. Not that either of them are going to hit me. But I'm in a very bad spot right now. Um, so this dude doesn't have the, like, the retaliation attack. Um... I'm going to hit counter, because even when I kick him backwards, he's still going to hit me, because I'm two away. Uh, do a quick kick on him. Do a quick block. Because I don't want to get... Oh, no, I can't, because he'll push me into the wall anyway. I'm just going to have to cop another eight damage through that counter. But I'll punch him back. And then he'll punch him, because he walked into space. So you can see that they'll attack each other uh, quite happily. Um, now, I could use Head Smash on him, even though it's overkill. But instead, I'm going to use the front kick, because it'll finish that dude off and it'll damage the guy behind him because he knocks into him. Um, he's only got six, but old mate's going to push me into the wall again. So... Instead of intentionally taking the extra damage, I'm just going to see it. This dude's got 24. But now that there's no one behind him, I can be behind him. And then I could just get the shit out of him. Now they'll, he'll turn around, but at least I'm not stuck in a corner now, you know? Much else they both got left. So e if I hit either of them, one, the other one's going to attack me. Um, unless I go here. Because then they're not facing me. Alright, and then that'll let me take the long strike on you. And the hammer fist on you. Bam. They're done. I took way more damage than I really intended to, but I got the briefcase. You can see the replay of it without any of the cards and spacings and stuff and it sort of plays out I think that if if given the opportunity because there's like different replay cameras and stuff too so this one is not this one I picked today just to see what it was like but it's not uh, not my favourite um but basically it'll just take one-to-one -one sort of moments from the fight and carry on but if I if I if I if I could share anything with the the devs which I, I'm sure that they would know um, making the replays not have as much of a pause between turns and maybe that was something that I just later in the game fights are a bit more hectic but early on it sort of feels like like you can see that it's very turn-based in the the replay and having it look like a little bit quicker. Um, like not that the moves themselves need to be faster, but the, the gap between turns, I guess. But anyway, we'll continue. You see that 30 bucks wasn't worth the 16 damage that I took because to heal back that 16 damage is going to cost me like 50 bucks. Um, I'm going to take Jolt. And I was going to go to the gym too to buy stuff. Let's go to the gym anyway. We'll see if we can um, see if we can upgrade a card. We can upgrade a few different ones. Um, 
I do... You can upgrade this, increase this combo by four. You pay however much of the, the currency that you get. Um, upgraded counter would probably be good. I think we're going to upgrade quick block. Quick block's really handy, especially early on. Just because it costs zero. Um, and... Like it'll either increase the damage or increase the the blocking power or it'll make it so that it's lower in cost or there's all sorts of different ways that it can upgrade. I think I might I think I might upgrade long strikes what nine? Yeah. I think I might upgrade step, make step free. Now we probably should have healed before. But I didn't. Because for two reasons. One, they can make this sort of demonstration session relatively quick if I do fail out not that I'm intending to okay so if I move out of his way he's gonna shoot the other guy uh yeah good we've got slip we don't want to move into front of her because you can see the, the red section in front of her she'll shoot all three tiles in front of her so we want to what else have we got on us jab dash quick strike um, how much health has he got? 30. He's going to cop 20 damage all up. So if I go here, and if we can deal him 10. And I'll give him a quick jab. And, uh, I'll call that a turn. Oh, no, because the shock, he didn't move into the shotgunner's range in that turn. Silly me. Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to shift, so I'm behind him. And then I'm just going to push him into it. And now he is going to be destroyed. Uh, step's free, but I can't use head smash on anybody because no one that I can reach with step is going to be able to... Like, I could get behind her... But I'm not going to be able to get it get it with anything, you know. He got executed. You can see the open doors here are like execution spots, I suppose. To um, okay. So what I I need to slip again. Um. How much health has she got? 50. We need to start laying into her. Um, what we'll do is we'll use Hammer Fist. Get a good punch in. And then... Probably Quick Kick. Probably push her away by one. That'll do. An old mate that's just spawned in is going to have a bad day. He's got one health left, yep. That's good. All right. So, both of those guys deal 10. Um, I'm going to use Jolt. Uh, I'm going to use Hammer Fist. Then I'm going to use Long Strike and Punch. That guy. And then I'm going to step the fuck out of the way. Because I don't want to take damage. Uh, and it shift back behind her. She's still got tons of health. I'm going to use the combo finisher on her. And which one of these deals more damage? I use front kick on it. Oh, actually, if I use front kick on her, it's not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hurt her as much as I could. If I go here. Alright, because she's not gonna get close enough to actually shock on the other dude anyway. 
So what I'll do instead is I'll go here and I'll kick her and she'll hit the bar, which will make her take more damage. And then old mate will shoot her. Uh, now if I can deal eight damage to her, now, uh, the quick strike seems like it's going to be the way to go because it's a nice eight damage, but can't use head smash on the other dude because he's not standing next to anything. But she's been messed up, and then we can. Step. He's quick strike on you. And then. Uh, actually, let's just block for 10. We'll just block the bullet. And then that way they're in close range for the next round. Quick block. See, we, messed, we leveled that one up so it gives us 12 instead of 6 like the other one. Uh, give you a quick jabby jab. And. Um, Bit of hammer fist. Finish it off. And obviously the goal is to play through all this without taking damage. And it is so far from what I've played, relatively forgiving. Like that's what makes me think feel like it's more of a puzzle game than not. Actually I need to make that. There we go. Um But it is, it is pretty forgiving. There's usually a way out of the fight, even if it's not necessarily what you think it is, um, without taking damage, unless you start going down a path that is, you know, the incorrect movements, I suppose. Um, so I've got a better card as the reward this time. Um, grapple's cool. Step plus is cool. Left spin kick is cooler. Uh, we can go the alleyway. We can get some more stuff. Or, get a random event. You find a hidden gym with big discounts. Hey! That's cool. Alright. Um, card upgrades are cheap too. Nice. Alright. Oh, they're not red when they're discounted. I see. Like, if you can't afford them. Um, does that give us more blocking power? It does, yes. Do that. And, um... Long strike deal. Just a little bit more damage. Um, we get... No, but it's not red for some reason. Must be the conversion rate. Quick strike does go up substantially though, so let's do that. Alright. And you can remove cards from your deck there too. I don't have any money for medical now. Should have looked at that, but whatever. What are our objectives? Play within six turns and smash everybody. All right. Well, they're pretty normal dudes. So, yeah, 20 health pop, do six damage each. Uh, all right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick you out of here. And I'm gonna strike you and just block your hit, and I'll take it and stay here. Because then I get to keep my combo up. That dude's different, I don't remember why. He's just slightly darker for some reason. All right, so what are they gonna do? Six each, so quick block will actually block both of their hits. Uh, and it's free, which is good. I like upgrading quick block. Very handy. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Let's... Let's do a counter. 
And if we move him there, he's going to punch old man. I'll block that. He'll get hit back. And he gets punched by his mate and knocked the fuck out. Alright, how much health has everybody got left? Okay. Do that for you. Do a quick strike. And then a combo finisher. The end. Easy peasy. Change the replay camera so it shouldn't be as jumpy. You can see how you like there's like the big pauses in turns. And I get why it's there, and I understand. Um I just think, yeah, just as far as like cool factor is concerned, that little pause. We get choke slam, panic dash. Or a front kick. Um Choke Slam's cool. I've never personally used it. The choke slam choke slam's cool, deals a decent chunk of damage. Um but you need four combo to get it. And I feel like I'd barely ever get high enough combo to bother. I think I'm gonna take another front kick. Okay. Bar fight with a mini boss. That dude's a welder. Um, he can damage you from far away. Charges up to three tiles to deal 10 damage. And he gets nine block at the start of every turn. So he's constantly getting armor. Um, I only really have one place that I can go. Um... Because this dude kicks for two tiles away. Um, there's no way I'm dealing 20 damage to old mate after I move up on him. Even with the kicks and whatever. I'm going to have to use my emergency move. So, I'm going to go this way. Uh, I am going to front kick you, just because I can, because I'm here, because I'm in the neighborhood. And then I'm going to emergency move over by one. Having the welder right here is a problem. But I can punch the fuck out of him. There's no one in range to head smash. Long strike maintains my distance. So... Punch the gunman again. Because we're not in the neighborhood. And then shift, I'm going to go behind, old mate. And I'm going to... Move over to the bar a little bit. <laughs> Alright. There's this dude here that's in front of us. We could upgrade a quick strike, which is very, very nice. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to use this first. See, and then you can see our combo counter goes up because this is now dealing five damage instead of four. Um, I don't want to front kick him. We'll do this. And then. A little left spin kick on him as well. Because then that hits old mate next to him. Not that it really does anything though. Uh, but I can go here. And I can... Kick him. 
damage. Hey, one damage is one damage, right? Now. He's going to deal me 10. And he's going to deal me 6. I can actually block it all. If I do this, and do this, and I up my combo, I should be able to just tank it. And I'll hit him back for it too. Which is nice. Uh, we will do... Long strike on you. And then I'm just gonna... Just gonna tank shit again. Now, I don't want to do that again, because this time, Old Mate's going to kick me into the wall, and it's probably going to go over. And I don't even have the blocks that I did have anyway, so... Um, but what I can do... I can do a front kick. Kick him away. Which means we had a range of the other guy. Hammer Fist. Almost wrecks him. But not quite. I can move one closer and use a cheeky quick strike on him. No, I can't. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. I wasn't counting how much momentum I had left. Damn it. Oh, well. Gotta take the hit then. That hurt. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to move up on you. Yeah, finish you with a cheeky little jab. Everything else can wait. And there's not really anything that I can do because he's diagonal from me. I'll wait again. Okay. But he only ever deals 10 damage. Was it counter that I used? I think it was. I'm going to push him backwards anyway. Just to be a dick. No, it wasn't counter. It's alright. It was a cheeky jab. One of these. Now, I don't want to use front kick. I'd rather use head smash on him first. Then we can do that. Deal a big chunk of damage. Uh, and then we can kick him backwards. And then because we don't have any block, we'll move the fuck out of his way. Okay, now we've got enough block to block him properly. Um, or I can just use slip and get out of the way. Uh, he hasn't got a ton of health left. I reckon if we just use one of them. He's got six left. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get the three combo. So I'm going to block him instead of slipping. And we'll quick kick him away. So he'll get one more attack, but we'll block it. Now we got to choose how to finish him. We need to do another 11 damage. 11. Ah, oh, quick strike. Boom. Game over. Easy peasy. Didn't do it as quick as we might have wanted, but that's the job. Uh, block plus. Yes, please. Sounds good. Uh, because of our health situation, let's go event. You see a hooded figure in the corner. They spot you and make their escape. I can start a fight, or I can leave it because I don't need the distraction. I could probably use the money. Your instincts were good. Local police capture a group of gang members waiting in ambush. There you go. Um, there's medical over there, which we really desperately need. But an event could give us something pretty wild. Um, I 
Let's go, event. You're in a stake up, but nothing's happening, and you run out of snacks. Surely you have time to run out and grab some more. Gain 10 health for 20 bucks. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. For sure, especially since we just got 50 bucks from the last one. Now we have the boss fight. So this dude's a bit of a dick because he'll always face you if he can. Um, the biker boss deals 16 damage up to two tiles away and he will always turn to face you. So if you try and get behind him, you can't. He'll always like look at you. Um, and the gunmen are doing 12 because I'm pretty sure he buffs them. Or maybe it's just because it's this fight they get bonus damage. Can't remember. Cannot remember. Um, so I need to make sure I slip out of this spot. Because that would be bad. Uh, so... What we'll do... Is we'll use... Use long strike on the boss. Just to get a hit on him early. Um, then I'm going to use Jolt to up my combo. Then I'm going to use Head Smash on this gunman. And then I'm going to slip the fuck out of here. Everybody else can move around me. Alright. Gotta be careful because my health relatively... Oh, well, it's not low, but it's it's low enough. Um, so quick strike is going to fuck that gunman up quick kick is going to fuck them both up but obviously not kill him uh, what's the overall damage I'm looking at here 28 yeah I'm not blocking that okay can't really use shift properly um I use quick strike on him. And I'll shift one this way. Because I can't reach anybody. Alright. We got two front kicks, that's nice. Uh Away. Okay, yeah, we stand there. Right. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll do it again and bounce him off the wall. And then we'll give him a quick and cheeky jab. Because that doesn't cost us anything. And it gives us one extra. And then I'll use the combo finisher on him. Which will deal a big chunk because we've been building stuff up. And then we'll dash a little step out of the way. Easy peasy. Okay. Now he does 16 on his own and he doesn't push. Which means he's not going to knock us into the table. We do have enough to block that. So I'm probably going to stand here and tank this round. Um, is we can use hammer fist on him. We can use push on him as well. Get a little bit more. And then he'll try and hit me for 16, but I've got 22 defense. I could step out of the way. But I'm just gonna just gonna block it. Okay. Now we have a different situation. Um Okay, so what I'll do push him, do a little bit of push damage, and we'll do head smash, smack him against the wall a bit, oh, because head smash breaks the combo, gotcha, uh, 
All right, I thought we were going to knock him out of the way. Hit him. I will, I will. Hello, Albatross. Welcome, welcome. Take him down. I most certainly will. I just got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. Because he's always going to be facing me. Uh... Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move back two spots. Because then he won't be able to reach me. Oh, he's not gonna he's not gonna attack in the next turn anyway. Ah, I'm silly. He's doing his special thing, which is gonna be to call in other people. I'll do a quick block anyway. And then everybody moves around. Alright, how much health has he got left? He's only got four left. So we can just finish it up here with a with a cheeky hammer fist. And then everybody else gives up. But this is, this is, this is the first boss on normal difficulty. Not easy, not hard, just normal difficulty. And that's effectively that. But you see what I mean with like the pauses between, between moments of, um, combat, like between the turns. Like, I get it, and I totally understand why it's there as a thing. But if it could be tightened up in the replay, I think that would be very, very cool. Like, to make it a lot more like a fight rather than a bit of choreography that people are learning for the first time, you know? But again, I get it. I get why it's there. But if it is something that could be, could be tightened up a little bit, then, um, yeah. And then you get, obviously, when you finish a thing, or there are certain missions and stuff that give you different bonuses, you get stuff, right? So 25 extra block when blocks added. Uh, or 25%, sorry. Five health every time you skip a card reward. Um, and then 25 extra health when you heal at a medical facility. So instead of gaining 15 health when you heal, you gain 40 health when you heal, which is pretty great. Um, I think the extra block is going to help us the most. You know, moment to moment. Good work, Agent Eleven. You've disrupted a large part of the Death Heads, uh, the Death's Heads infrastructure. There's nothing. What's next on the agenda? Well, take a look. And then you progress through the different, different crews. Um. But I think I'm going to do these. Um, episodically, I guess. The different crews. Even though I know some of the further crews are going to take a hell of a lot longer. But we'll see how that goes later. Um, for those watching VODs. This is this is the end of this is the end of this one. Uh, so I hope you've got a, a bit of a grasp of the game. If it looks interesting, check it out. It's out there. It's awesome. It's uh, an indie game, from what I understand. I don't know a ton about it, to be honest. Probably should have researched it, but I was just enjoying it so much. I'm like, I want to play it now. Um, but yeah, so if you're watching this tomorrow, 10 years from now, or long after I'm gone, you're awesome. And I'm sure you'll hear from me again. I'll catch you later. See ya.